we've had a couple of days of rainfall and my garden is looking so lush one of my nieces said it looks like a rainforest <laughs> look at this so let's just do an impromptu tour and find out what is going on in the garden see how much rain we had it's my rain gauge right here my little man we had about two and a half inches worth of rain yay makes me very very happy all right so let's see what is going on in the garden A lot a lot of ripe peppers which I am going to harvest see that we'll harvest some peppers today there's a lot of peppers just turning color beautiful red vibrant red I don't know if it's a good idea to harvest peppers when it's wet but look at that See how tall the corn the corn is already so it's been about I want to say five to six weeks since I planted the corn I planted the corn around the third of July right after yeah that weekend of Labor Day and today is August the 19th I don't even know what date it is either 19th or 18th one of them but the corn is already taller than me so the corn is already it's doing so well so i'm expecting the corn to tassel soon this here is my anchia it produced fruits and i let the fruits turn yellow because i'm trying to do some seed saving of the anchia this is boma also known as boma that's solano macro carpon so and then the peppers these are all my peppers from cameroon they're doing well a couple of videos ago they were you know kind of yellowish and i applied um fish emulsion and now they're green again they're green again some of them have produced fruit like this one right here see that yeah Oh wow, this one has fruit. Look at that. Okay, looks good. And then this one as well. I think this is a different type of pepper. It's pointing up instead of down. I don't know. But yeah. And then of course, my garden egg. I harvested some yesterday. So you can just grab one snack on oh it's kind of hard to pull it off the step yeah that's the snack look at my okra from cameroon the cameroon variety of the okra it's now basically a tree it's impossible to harvest so i'm letting it go to seed yeah this one here is already too tough to harvest i'll just let it mature and dry up and become seed see it's like a tree now i can get up there and have it so i guess these will be my seeds for next year and then the habaneros along the fence oh my god the sun was not kind to these peppers at all the sun was not kind to the peppers at all i've been fighting very hard to keep them alive <laughs> oh and i think i've been successful so i have a bunch of ripe peppers i'm going to harvest some today
This is cow peas or wire. I let it go to seed. So I have seeds for next time. Cow pea seeds. I'll let it mature completely and dry up and then I'll harvest it. Did I show you my bitter leaves? Look at how fresh they are. Just looking at these make me so happy. So those are my bitter leaves, my rosemary, and the ghost pepper keeps producing. That's the thing with, gar uh, with gardening. You make a trip to the backyard, you come back with food. So you can see the different types of peppers. That's your ghost pepper, regular habanero. So this is the other variety of bitter leaves that I have growing in a container. So compare this one to this one. See, I prefer this one actually. I prefer the broad leaves to these tiny leaf ones. They're both bitter, but I get more vegetable per plant with this one compared to this one and that's my soursop tree which i uppotted just a few days ago luckily it's been raining so that has picked up and these are my guava trees in those pots it's guava and then this here is my flower that i was gifted Marigold is it marigold? I think it's marigold, yeah. Marigold. Is it marigold? Then my herbs. I have basil. They're so easy to grow. So so easy to grow. My basil and parsley. What other kind of herb do I have? I have celery. But the celery is not as huge. The celery is right here. So my celery. Actually, I don't I don't need this boma plant here. So that's my celery and my water leaves. I'm letting them go to seed so I can collect the seeds. There's more water leaves over there and more over here. Intercropped. Let's keep going. Let's keep going more garden egg and chia more bitter leaves you would find the bitter leaves everywhere that's because i was looking for some place to put my bitter leaves okay so i replaced a lot of the crops that i already had that way or out of season with bitter leaves so i told you there's bitter leaves everywhere more bitter leaves and this is corn that i planted maybe about a week as yeah one week ago or so okay and then my okra, the hill country red okra. I got the seeds from trueloveseeds.com um, last year. But then these ones are from the okra that I planted last year. Okay, so I'm saving this one for more seeds. I ha keep harvesting, but I have to leave some for seeds. Um, then this is my taro root. No, it's not taro. It's malanga. It's malanga root, cocoa. I grow these for the leaves and then my yam this is a true yam Dios Korea I need to put these in a pot so this is the yam here you see you see if you can see the leaves it's climbing it's climbing on this on this tree on this um, okra tree so that's my yam and of course my ugu or my okongobong which I was so bummed to find out that the flowers are male. They are male blossoms. And how can I tell? They say I should look at the base. And if I see 
anything bulging then it's a female if i see nothing bulging then it's a male i don't see anything bulging so these are male flowers and i guess they're just gonna not be useful i'm looking for female flowers so these can pollinate the female flowers but that's the okongobo or the ugu so pray for me pray that i have female flowers and my sunken garden over here with my supposedly red bell peppers i've never been able to grow them to to maturity because there's an animal that keeps eating the bell pepper so i've been harvesting them green i've been harvesting them green to get ahead of the animals that keep eating on the bell and the peppers yeah that's my garden These are papa's peppers, as I call them. I have a few ripe ones. Yellow and red. So this is red. Red. I have some yellow ones. Let's see if we can find a yellow one. See that? How pretty they look. So I have the yellow, the yellows. These are the ghost ones. These are papa's peppers. At least how many species grow in here. Okay. And this is my secret garden. You thought you had seen all the peppers, huh? Oh no, no, no. These are my Carolina Reapers. I have like four of them here. They are in containers in fabric pots. These fabric pots are a lifesaver. I had to move the peppers over here because of the excess heat. Peppers don't like too much sunlight and too much heat. So we're getting more than eight hours of sunlight. It's not good. So I moved them to this shaded area. These are supposed to be Carolina Reapers, but I think they have cross-pollinated with something. And so it's, this, this skin is not as rough as the other Carolina Reapers that I have over there. I'll show you. Cause this is a different kind of pepper, this one here. And this is Carolina Reaper, but I think some cross-pollination contamination has taken place here. We'll see. But I'm so proud because I started these peppers from seed okay this okra i did not plant it just came from it's a volunteer okra plant so this is the okra the american type this is oregano this is another one. even more bitter leaves in containers, some in ground. See that? And then look, 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 look. Just look how pretty this is. Just look. Oh my god. And look! These are my Carolina Reapers. See? I'll let them turn color completely. But these are the friends, first ones turning color. Look at that. And then just look at how beautiful these are. Oh my God. Okay. And look at my papa trees or papaya producing flowers. I don't know if these are male papa or female papa. I don't know how you tell the difference, but I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that I have, I get some fruit. Okay. I also have yams growing in bags over here. You see my yams? 